I have attempted to list our steps in making a successful migration to new hardware. We needed to migrate a Microsoft SPS 2003 from an Intel 4U server to an HP 1U server. Please read the video notes to prepare the backups and drivers for the new hardware. In this case, I had backed up the system to an external USB hard drive. To start the bare metal restore, boot the new server with the D2D DVD in the DVD drive and the external hard drive connected to the USB port. When the Smart Array info is displayed, press F8 to configure. In my case, I configured a RAID 1 array with a hot spare, and then selected my new logical volume to be the default boot volume, then exit the Smart Array utility. In my case, I chose x86 since I am restoring a 32-bit OS. A Windows PE instance will load and ask you to choose the language and keyboard. D2D automatically read my USB hard drive and selected my most recent backup. Click on Next. I chose Advanced Mode since I wanted to change the destination volume size. Left click on the destination volume and then right click and choose resize volume on the drop down. I entered the maximum size and clicked OK. The screen displays the source and destination layouts. Click on next button. A dialog will summarize the disk change for the new destination. Click on Submit. The dialog will show progress. Once completed, click on OK. A dialog will show the restore setting. When you click on OK, the restore will start. The screen will show the progress and time remaining. At the end of the restore, it will run driver injection. I think this is for disk storage drivers only. You can wait for the countdown or click on a reboot. When the system is rebooting, eject the DVD and disconnect the external USB drive. If everything was successful, you will see your OS successfully boot. Some errors may be displayed. For WK3, Microsoft will want you to reactivate the license. Press No for now. The Windows New Hardware Wizard will automatically run and request info for the new hardware. You will want to select Yes, Now and Every Time, and then click on Next. Select Install from a list or specific location, Advanced. Click on Next. Specify the location that has all the drivers for the new hardware. I extracted all the HP drivers to C colon backslash drivers. Click on Next. Click on Finish. The wizard will want you to repeat the above steps for other components such as system and network drivers. Once the wizard has completely finished, it will display a message to restart your computer. Click on Yes. After the reboot and re-login to the system, 
go to the directory containing the HP support drivers. Run the hpsum.exe and follow the various prompts and select the drivers to install on your system. After completion, it will probably want you to reboot your computer again. You're still not done yet.